Yo, what is up? Today we're gonna to be taking a tour through my apartment here on the East Coast. So I'm just gonna show you guys around and basically where I get a lot of my work done, shoot my content, and stuff of that sort. So we'll roll over to the living room first. Um, I absolutely love this living room because of the natural sunlight that comes in from the floor ceiling windows. And I've had this couch from Ikea for a while. Pretty sizable couch. Um, it's got a little sectional where you can lay down that I really, really love. And then obviously the off-white rug I've had since it came out. Um, it just complements the area as a whole. Over here is my TV area. I ended up having to get a new TV because mine broke on the trip over from Dallas. So I got a Samsung Curve that I got on Amazon for about like 900 bucks. One of my favorite paintings, um, Work Fucking Harder, speaks for itself. Um, I've had that for, I believe, like three or four years now, and it's kind of just like my motivator in the mornings. And I got a nice little snake plant over here. I got a snake plant because it's low maintenance, because I'm not home as often as I would like to, just traveling and doing business and stuff like that. I only have to water it once a month. And the same person who gave me that snake plant also made me this preserved moss wall. His name is Energy Gardens. It's a black owned um, plant business, so you guys definitely check him out. I got a Dyson air purifier right here. Does exactly what it says, it purifies the air. Then some miscellaneous stuff over here on the windowsill, the Travis Scott Reese's Puffs, the Off-White um, Moet, a cost figure, a Funko Pop, and then you got Astro Boy over here. And then I just got my homies who chill over here. You got Peanut from the Cause little collection, also some more Takashi Marikami, and then some Staple Pigeon. My little table, I got a little Supreme Ashtray, Cause, Takashi Marikami book, an incense holder for when I want to just burn some scents, and also a candle in my remote and stuff to go to the TV. I got this painting from Amazon. I believe it was like 60 bucks. It's a, it's a female artist. And she just makes these, and I think she just mass produces them. Next, we're gonna walk over into my office area. This is where I get a lot of my work done. Um, I decided to go with a standing slash sitting desk, so this is just up and down. I got a nice little lamp that I picked up from Amazon that has a bunch of different moods on it that you can set from study, sleep, relax, and then reading. I got a nice little monitor as well. My dad put me on um, to this to basically uh, mirror my MacBook and it makes my work a lot easier because it's on a curved screen and it's not on a small screen like the MacBook. Just got a couple of miscellaneous bags over here, um, a Mont Blanc, uh, Bait Collab, e-bags, my tripod, um, Supreme Deck, and then also just the temporary off-white um, IKEA Collab. One of my favorite pieces from my friend Dale is the money tree, it kind of speaks for itself. I put it over here in my office area to just keep me motivated to continuously make money on a daily basis. Right here, as you can see, me and my boy Pierre are in the mirror. This is where I take a lot of my content. As you guys see on my Instagram, I just flick up right here. I got this mirror from Ikea, it's called the Hobbit. We're gonna roll into my room, and my room is just pretty simple. I only sleep in here, so I got my bed, a nice little um, nightstand over there with just a, a fake plant, a candle, and then like a sneaker plant. I got a couple of Funko Pops that are my favorites. The coolest one, in my opinion, is the Biggie exclusive, and then also the, um, the Black Panther, which is super dope. I got my dresser right here that I keep all my accessories on for my glasses, my hats, my beanies, my bags, and then obviously, with COVID-19, all these John Elliott masks. And then, just rolling over to my closet, I have all of my clothes in here for the most part. Not too many jackets, I keep it color coordinated. It's not as organized as I'd like it to be, but you got my blacks, my whites, and my grays. And then obviously my sneakers, my jeans and stuff are up here. Um, a lot of my sneakers are on the floor right now because I need to organize them. I've been selling a lot of them and just like picking up more, which I don't need to be doing, but that'll be for a later video. And here is the bathroom area where basically I shower, brush my teeth, do all that cool stuff. I got another snake plant inside of here. I just keep my toothbrush, a little teeth cleaner, some cologne. Nothing really special in here. I got some goals that I look at every single day here on my mirror. And then if you guys are looking for a soap dispenser, I found this on Amazon. It's super convenient. Squeeze the soap out instead of having to use a bar of soap all the time for that. But that's pretty much my bathroom. Again, it's nothing special. I also have an extra closet here in the hallway between my bedroom and the bathroom where I keep a lot of my outerwear and a couple of things that I'm selling at the top. And then just more sneakers here at the bottom. As you can see, the closet space is really limited and I try to stuff as much as possible. This is just another closet space that I use for my jackets and a lot of larger pieces that I have in my collection. 
Next, we're gonna roll into the kitchen area. Um, first up in the kitchen area, I got a Dyson V8 Animal right here. It is a dope vacuum for hardwood floors and also carpets. We also have a commercial blender. I can go ahead and make smoothies if I choose to do so. Um, and then just some more cooking utensils. One of my favorite things in here is the Home Hero. It was about like 70 bucks on Amazon. And then I got some other cooking utensils, uh, cutting board. The cool little tech that I have in my kitchen is this Nespresso. I believe I picked it up for 160 bucks from the actual store. And they had at least two cups that came with it. And then you can pick up your pods. You can order them on Amazon or you can also go inside the store and pick that up if you have one locally. And then my little Brita right here comes in handy. It's super great. You change the filter like every two months so you're not having to buy like water bottles. And I also have some liquor over here, mostly for when my friends come over because I don't drink that much. I drank enough in college for two lifetimes. And my fridge, um, really, really love the fridge because I got all my vegetables and stuff in here. I hate that they have this bitch so low and I wish it was higher and it had a little water thing on it, but you know, that comes with living on the East Coast, they do like that. And I always keep this on top. Shout out to my boy Berto for sending me this for my birthday for about two years back. I'm not always home but I'm always repping. And lastly, I have a little uh, washing machine getting in here. I got clothes and shit piled up right now, but I have a uh, dryer and a washer right here that I use often, and I need to wash clothes, obviously, as you can see. But this is my apartment, and this is where I get a lot of my work done. So I just wanted to show you guys around, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.